Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tarotticallyspeaking.com where I blog about all the things that I've learned from and about the tarot cards and I also do reviews for tarot books and decks and make videos about tarot via this YouTube channel. Um, I also am a tarot card reader naturally and I also teach how to read tarot cards. In fact, I even wrote a book, How You Can Enhance Your Tarot Card Reading Skills Using Storytelling Techniques. You can find this book on Amazon, both paperback and Kindle. The links are in the description below. Should you be interested, you can just go click there and buy it. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this really, really awesome deck that I found. Uh, through Instagram. <laughs> I discovered it through Instagram. I will not deny it. And I totally fell in love with it. It is a very, very interesting cyberpunk themed deck called the Neon Moon Tarot. All right. So let's just get right into it. So the Neon Moon Tarot deck comes in this really sturdy cardboard box so you can totally store your deck in it there's no problem you don't need a separate bag or something to put your deck into and it's it's very easy to open so no problem uh, here is the, uh, the card that comes along with it pixel occult which is the name of the creator and you have all the uh, links I do believe that the, this, the you know James has also made another deck called the uh, Thinking Wasteland Tarot and I, I, I kind of did look it up uh, a few days ago and I'm gonna be buying it soon but you know I'm on a budget so I'll buy it as soon as the budget allows but it's that one's also pretty interesting uh, in fact you can go to the website neonmoontarot.com and, and all the images of the deck are available there as well to see so <clears throat> this deck uh, as i said before is a cyberpunk themed deck and you will see this pattern of uh, you know the different phases of the moon on the cover or you know the, the box cover on this book and also on the back cover of the cards uh, the color palette is very much as you can see here neon pink purple blues and it's on a black card background so <clears throat> it's really really amazing I mean that is actually why I fell in love with this particular deck actually I was like wow this is something different Plus, of course, it is a cyberpunk themed deck, which, of course, I love the all things steampunk, cyberpunk. So, of course, I had to get it. Um, you would really benefit from going through this deck from, I'm sorry, the book, <laughs> from going through this little black book, I will call it. You know, it, it really, really uh, explains what the philosophy of this particular world is even if you know it's just uh, two short pages it's 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 really enough especially if you know what cyberpunk is all about if you know what steampunk is all about but cyberpunk is obviously different from steampunk don't make that mistake uh, but if you know what it what the basic ethos is all about then you know just this much is more than enough to get you started and of course there are some changes from the standard norm right the suit of swords is called arms the suit of wands is called wires cups are called vials and pentacles are zent and your court cards the page is the apprentice the knight is the agent the queen the supervisor and the king is the executive so these changes are specified right at the outset but rest i believe she uh, i'm sorry he <laughs> The uh, you know James has kept to the right of weight uh, sort of ethos or or imagery or you know the basic funda of it. Now these changes are specified right at the outset, right? So, but I think about the rest of the imagery, it's it's kind of very much in in keeping with the right of weight world. So, uh, yeah, you hear you say. 
Each card is meant to evoke a particular piece of this world using the archetypes available from the Rider Waite Smith Tarot. Right. So essentially, those of you who are from the Rider Waite world and who also appreciate cyberpunk can totally pick up this deck and have fun with it. Now, what I really genuinely, genuinely, genuinely liked uh, for about this little white book is, of course, you have your upright and reverse meanings, but the description is actually one or two lines like a story, which, of course, you know, I'm all about the story, especially with the cards. So, for example, uh, for the fool card, it says, Sure, I'm safe in here. Oh, what life is best lived in safety without experience? I can feel the world out there calling for me to take part in it. Just the thought of the adventure I could be having. Why? I feel so light. I swear I could fly. Now, right, if, if you look at the image, it kind of goes with it, right? She's, she's about ready to fly. And, and this is what happens for all the cards, including your minor arcana. So it's not just all the major arcana that have this. The minor arcanas also have this, which is, is amazing, right? So you should totally, totally, totally spend time and read through this little black book. And so it, you kind of, you know, you go and you understand what the real, real sense of the cards is all about. Okay. <clears throat> So now let's look at the cards. As you can see, again, the same, uh, you know, the phases of the moon motif is repeated across the back of the card. But the way it has been done, really, you wouldn't know if this card was upright or reverse. The backs are reversible, yes. In my books, that is a major plus point for any card, right? Because I read reversals. The fact that the, the little white book also has reverse meanings and, and then the deck creator has taken the pains to make sure the backs are reversible. So yay, full marks. <clears throat> All right, so let's go let's let's do a flip through <clears throat> i hope i have it placed well all right so let's go ahead with our flip through this is your fool card the magician oh i'm gonna put this aside otherwise you're gonna be bothered by the glow over there Priestess. I like how the numbers are a little tilted and the words are like that. It kind of goes with the imagery. The Empress. Now, I could talk about the world of this deck, but that would be like giving away the plot of the story. And, and, you know, I just want you to to immerse yourself in the image of the cards so just just enjoy just enjoy hierophant chariot i don't know what it was about this particular card but the moment i saw this card this card i was like i gotta have this you know this i don't know every time i travel in a bus this is me <laughs> it's me like I, I i don't know what it is strength so you have card number eight which is strength you know following the right away Smith pattern and then you have the hermit wheel of fortune see how the rider weight wheel of fortune is kind of uh, there on his jacket 
con người á Justice. The hanged man or woman or whatever, it's just hanged. Mistake. Death. Temperance. This is an interesting, really, really cool imagery for the temperance card. Devil. See how you know, you see this, these are tied up right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. The tower. The star. This this card also kind of hooked me. I was like, yeah man, I need to have this deck. The moon. Of course, the moon. Ooh. This really, really evokes the ethos of this particular world. The sun. <laughs> Judgment. And world. Okay. So, I've arranged it in, you know, the wands, swords, cups, pentacles, uh, you know, order. So, you have wands, which is wires, the ace of wires. Two of wires. Three of wires. Four of wires. The celebration. That's pretty interesting. Five. <laughs> First place. Six of wires. Success. <clears throat> Seven fires. Eight. Nine. And your ten fires. Page of Wands or the Apprentice of Wires. Agent of Wires or Knight of Wands. The Supervisor of Wires or Queen of Wands. Can you see this little cat there on her visor? Ha <laughs> ha. Pretty cool, and also the flower. Hang on, there you go. Cool, huh? I identify with the Queen of Wands, so it's kind of you know one of the things I look at. Which, and then every deck, it's like, oh, Queen of Wands, how does she look like? And of course, the King of Wands or the Executive of Fires. Now the next is your suit of swords, which in this deck is called arms. So I guess it's kind of easy to, if, if you want to remember, 
you know, your arms hold the swords and wires, they are all about fire, so it's the suit of wands, you know, the wire fire mnemonic is also easy to remember, I guess, if, you know, you want to uh, do that. Two of arms. It's pretty cool with the blindfold and everything there. Hmm. Ah, the three of swords or three of arms. Heartbreak. Four of arms. Five. Six. How interesting that again there is a <clears throat> transition over water. Hmm? Six of swords or six of arms. Seven of arms. Eight. Ah, nine of arms. And your ten of swords or ten of arms. The page of swords or apprentice of arms. The knight. Of sorts. I guess instead of a horse, there are motorcycles, which is pretty interesting. The agent of arms, the queen of swords, or the supervisor of arms. God, I like her. <laughs> and of course, your king of swords or the executive of arms. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this. Next up is a suit of cups, or in this case, vials. So we have the Ace of Vials, which is a big beer can. <laughs> Two of Vials. Three of Vials. <laughs> Five of files. This is again a virtual game, yeah? Virtual reality. Six of files. <clears throat> Seven of files. Eight of it's interesting again, you know, leaving behind all these cups, this person is walking away. Nine of vials. Ten of vials. The page of cups or the apprentice of vials. The agent of vials. Supervisor or Queen of Cups and the King of Cups or Executive of Vials. And finally, the suit of Zent or Pentacles, the Ace of Zent, Two of Zent. I guess Zent is the currency in that world, huh? Three of Zent, four, five, six, interesting, huh? Seven. 
eight, nine. And of course, we have the page of pentacles, the apprentice of scent. Or isn't the virtual game or, you know, whatever. Let, let's have a look. It doesn't say. Okay. The agent or knight of scent. The queen of pentacles or supervisor of scent. And of course, the executive of Zend or the king of the pentacles. So, there you have it. That is the flip through of the Neon Moon tarot deck. Now, if you know, if you ask me, all right some some of you may or may not like the concept of this deck because it's only a few selected colors it's a very restricted sort of color palette there you have neon colors and you have these purples and pinks and blacks right um some of you might think that oh it's such a weird color combination but I actually like this deck because it's got that restrictive color palette it's just these uh, you know, the purples, the pinks, and yes, the blues. It's just these colors, and that's it, right? I mean, it's it's amazing. Sometimes, you know, when you are working with a very restricted color palette, the creativity that comes through is brilliant, and I loved it. I also love that it is very much, you know, you know kind of very, very sort of in tune with the Rider Waite Smith imagery or ethos so anybody who is familiar with the right away deck can just as well pick up this deck and start playing with it <clears throat> and well let me see now <laughs> i'm gonna be doing a quick reading of course because why not i'm just gonna mix them up nice and easy and then see how they shuffle because that's kind of part of the review, isn't it? That's that's how you see. That's how you know. This is the first time I'm shuffling this deck, guys. On camera. <laughs> Oops. Come on. There you go. Okay. So... I'm shuffling the cards and wow, this is good. This is nice. The edges don't cut or bite into my skin. I like how you have these rounded corners. So again, it, it's not it's not cutting or biting into my skin. It, it shuffles like a dream. This deck is good. And let's, oh yeah, the card stop. It's not too thick or too thin. I kind of like it. It's... It's not flimsy by any means. It's really good. So, all right. Here we are, shuffling. Oops. <laughs> all right. So, what do we ask? Um, all right. What guidance does this deck have for us? Why, you know, especially in term, in, in with regards to, you know, learning with it, playing with it. What guidance does this deck have for us, all of us, you, me, both? Wow, the fan is so smooth. I know it's a little bit off camera, but the fan was pretty smooth. Okay, so let me pull a card. Here we go. And I'm gonna also, you know, reach for my for the little black book because <laughs> you know it's a new deck, so we play with that. Four of wires. Wow, wow. So 
you know wires is fire and fire is wands so four of wires is actually four of wands again if you see the image it's like they are partying they're totally having a good time it's all about celebration what guidance this particular deck has for us at first sight without even looking at the book it's all about celebrating it's about play it's about playing with you know everything that this deck is all about now let's see what the book has to say four of wires upright keywords a celebration community home and harmony and the story is and for a moment anyway the music blares and we link our connections to each other we can feel each other's emotions and thoughts and in the chaos of the group link in the space of this normally empty warehouse the bliss of it all is positively overwhelming check it out right so basically this card is saying celebrate connect this deck is all about being playful connections and also about celebration so as you go ahead and start playing with this deck the guidance that this card that this deck actually has for you is this is a great way i mean playing with this deck is a great way to connect with a different sort of imagery obviously this is a different cyberpunk themed world connect with this imagery connect with others who also love this imagery and you will find in that is a, a sort of a celebration a sort of a meeting of minds uh if you will and it will be amazing it will be brilliant it will be powerful and it will be playful and and joyous and um and just just great all around wow i love it when decks have such lovely lovely messages for us all so isn't this cool are you guys gonna get this deck i hope you do i genuinely genuinely wish you do especially if you are like me if you're into the cyberpunk imagery and 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 stuff totally go get this deck this is an amazing deck you you absolutely have to have it thank you so much for taking the time watching this video if you liked it please just give it a very big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for click the subscribe button and then click on the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you will get an update every time i upload a new video mm, if you wanted to book a tarot card reading with me or if you want to learn how to read tarot cards with me um you know you'll find information about that uh in the the links are in the description uh below the video you can totally also sign up for my monthly newsletter so you can keep updated with all the goings on all at once, you know, once a month. <laughs> the link for that is also in the description box below. You can follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Mm, if you want to see my card a day readings, I post those every single day and I showcase a different deck every month. So that's pretty interesting because I have a huge collection and this way I, I get to showcase it. Isn't that cool? Once again, thank you so much for watching my video. See you again next time and until then, stay good, be good and play with your cards. Bye. <laughs>